All right, guys, I hope you are ready. Welcome back to the New York Rangers B AGM mode. We are going to do the entire playoffs in one video. If I want to make this thing 25 years or as long as we could possibly make AGM mode before NHL 16 comes out, we can't do a playoff round each episode. We got to do the whole thing in one video. So if we get past the first round, if we get past, you know, the third, maybe you can go all the way. It's going to be all in one video. So get your snacks ready. We are going to do this thing so up against Ottawa in the first round we had an excellent year we had a presence trophy winning year that's a huge part coming from Henrik Lundqvist if he doesn't win the the Vesna trophy this year I don't even know what's gonna happen like he played so beyond unreal here we'll quickly have a look at his stats I mean there's no secret that he was the key to our success this year hands down 45 and 19 played a ridiculous amount of games this year 71 had 14 shutouts with a goals against average 1.71 that is just unheard of I mean 1.97 was an amazing year but uh, this one is by far his best career year ever and he's 33 years old so he mean even though he's a little bit older he can still get it done at a at the prime age of 33 years old and I want to talk about one thing here before we hop into the playoffs our captain Ryan McDonough he's now red star what the hell is up with that you guys pointed out to me in the comments and I have I'm I'm lost for words I have no idea why uh, he went to red star potential he had an amazing year 42 points 18 goals plus 14 he had a career year why did he go down he had seven power play goals 214 shots I mean the guy he had seven game winning goals for us the guy played amazing he's our captain why did he go down to red star potential I played him power play I played him everything Thing. I I don't have an answer for you guys. It's so it's so frustrating. I don't know why that happens. Uh, we're actually gonna go put Nash up there. Maybe get some scoring out of Rick Nash. But uh, but the consensus in the comments was pretty much saying that the power forward playmaker power forward line does not work out. So in the off season, if Kreider doesn't get the jump to be a first liner, which I'm kind of scared he might, because uh, he's got the green star potential at 50 points this year. Either Rick Nash will have to be moved for a sniper or Matt. Zuccarello will have to be moved for a sniper if Chris Kreider can play another year on the second line. Uh, that's kind of going to be my uh, it's kind of going to be my thought process towards this. But I want to know what you guys think. Uh, but that's going to be for the off season. We made the one move, Thomas Kopecky for the fourth line, and here is our defense going into the uh, going into the playoffs. We got round number one against the Ottawa Senators here. It's going to be awesome. Ottawa versus New York. I don't even know if they if they've ever matched up uh, against each other in the playoffs but what I got to do here is see when the hell Dan Boyle's coming back uh, I don't remember how long he's injured for let's go injury report here he should, actually needs to be evaluated so he's got a head injury so it could be a concussion could be out for a little while which might suck but we do have Matt Cost but we do have Mike Costa up here uh, to replace him for the time being but let's have a quick look here at our opponent the year one Ottawa Senators so I can't see them being too Obviously, different improved Mark Stone and uh, Hoffman. I improved Lazar a little bit and uh, I just made a I just made a couple changes to Ottawa but it's going to be Hoffman, going to be Kyle Turris and Bobby Ryan. So their first line, two playmakers and a sniper. That's kind of what I wish our first line was but you know I'm happy with what we have. Uh, we have Clark MacArthur, Zabinijad and Mark Stone. Uh, two way forward, two two way forwards and a power forward so kind of a grindy line there. And they got Colin Greening, Zach Smith and Chris Neal, Condra, Lazar and and Alex Chase on. So definitely a well-rounded team. Defensively, Eric Carlson, Jared Cowan, Patrick Weirkosh, Cody Cece, Mark Mathot, and David Legwand on the defense. Okay, so they might, I mean, they obviously have some sort of an injury, so I have to go look that up. And then Andrew Hammond, I made him an 84, and then Craig Anderson, 88 overall. Let's have a quick look here at what uh, what the injury is for Ottawa. Who is this? Probably, I know it's not... Um, I kind of want to know who the injury is for Ottawa. Quickly just go over here, go to Ottawa. Uh, Craig Anderson is injured with a injured ankle as Chris Phillips has got a broken wrist. So April 15th and May 13th. So we'll probably get Anderson back after game one. They're definitely going to be without Chris Phillips for the first round for sure. So let's go. Injuries are on. Everything is ready to go. Round number one. Series number one, the Big Apple. Let's go. First period. 0-0. 13 
13 to 8 are the shots. All right. Period number two. Two one. Okay. Zach Smith and Eric Condra. The grinders come out to play. See, so they did start Hammond because uh, Craig Anderson is obviously injured. But the grinders, they get it done for Ottawa. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. 23-22 uh, of the shots. Pretty even. Colin Greening, another grinder. Ooh, the backhand. B. Tenric Lundqvist. Broussard gets a second of the game. Trying to keep us in it here. Let's slow it down. Five minutes left. Come on, guys. We need a big goal here. I'm um, looking to you, McDonough. I need a big goal. Red St oh, my God. Hoffman makes it 4-2. to two, And we'd actually lose game one. It was a tie. It was definitely a hard-fought game. 34-33 were the shots. Uh, that one could have went either way. Uh, I guess they just outplayed us there in the second period, got the two big goals where we did not get anything. Uh, that's all right, though. That's okay. I'm not going to change anything up. We're going to get Dan Boyle back in a week. That's going to strengthen up our defensive core for sure. And, uh, I mean, we gotta we have to get on them. They're playing their backup, and plus they don't even have a defenseman in there. I guess we're kind of in the exact same boat with Costa, and they have Leguan playing on the defense for some reason. But let's go first period. one nothing. God damn, Eric Carlson. Jesus, the Swede beats the Swede. Carlson beats Lundqvist. Okay, I was actually not expecting this. They're coming out hard. They are coming to play here. Period number two. Okay, still 29 to 11. Oh, my God. Poor Henrik Lundqvist. We're leaving him out to dry. Where is the offense, boys? Where is Rick Nash? I know you haven't been producing that much, but we need you. Oh, my God. Another depth player. Chase on. Okay, Keith Yandel. Come to... Okay, so they did start Craig Anderson. Anderson is back, but we don't even deserve to win this to win this game. Look at the shots. 34 to 16. Come on. Come on. We gotta get a late one here. Broussard, Zuccarello. I gotta change up the lines here. This is not working. We're not giving Henrik Lundqvist anything to work with. Like he's playing good. We're just not giving him any goal support. That's not good enough. That's not good. Come on, guys. We need to step it up with the goals. Uh, I gotta move down Rick Nash or something. I gotta get something going with Chris Kreider. I don't know what I could possibly do here. Let's put Kreider there, put Nash there, uh, move up Marty St. Louis. Like, I don't know. He hasn't really done a done too much either, but uh, let's try to spark something here. Uh, Zuccarello, uh, Haglin, do we give Haglin the shot? I mean, I don't even know how to how to make, I don't know how to improve this. Uh, Zuccarello, let's give Haglin up there, Jesper Fast. I mean, just kind of go with what we have. Uh, Mark Stahl, move him down there. He's more of a defensive two. Actually, no, I want an offensive. I mean, our defense is probably okay the way it is. Stahl, McDonough, Yandel, Girardi, uh, it's not Henrik Lundqvist's fault while we're down 2 nothing, especially down 2 nothing at, at a crucial point. We're at home. It took two games at home. Brady Shea is now available. That's fine. I'll play him in the AHL. How did, it, how did they do? Not too bad, I guess. Uh, the AHL isn't quite over yet, but game number three here this is a must win. If we don't win this game, I can't see us winning the series at all. We're in a hole right now. Come on, guys. Dig yourselves out. Dig deep. Let's go. President's Trophy winning team. Let's go. First period. 2-1. Okay, Carlson gets two, that freaking Swede. And then JT Miller gets one on Craig Anderson. 14-12, tons of shots. Let's go, period number two. 3-3, three, three. okay, Marty St. Louis. Thank God, I move you up to the first line. You score a goal. Zach Smith gets one before the period ends. Mark Stahl gets a big power play goal. Come on, guys. 3-3, three, three. come on, come on. Big power play. Our power play was great all year. It was top 10. Another power play. you got to capitalize on this. McDonough needs someone. Gerard. A big shot from the point. Come on. Almost 30 shots. 30 to 34. Oh, man. This could be... This one's going to go down to the wire here. Oh, Rick Nash of all people. Finally, $7.1 million. Carl Hagelin gets a big goal. 5-3. That is a must win. Look at all the shots. There's 70 shots total. Wow. That was... Uh, we just threw tons of rubber at the net there. Rick Nash. Finally. Finally. Maybe that's a trick. Maybe put Nash on the second line. He had the big game-winning goal there. Uh, Costa's been injured. Oh my god. Okay, that's actually not that back, so we're probably gonna get Dan Boyle back pretty quick. Uh, I gotta bring somebody up, though. I gotta bring uh, Brady Shea. You're injured. I'll bring Hunwick up, but uh, wow. Okay, so Rick Nash on the second line. We're gonna keep him there. He scored the one goal. We're gonna keep him there. Um, I know exactly what's gonna happen. When I put Hunwick in here, they're going to say, oh, now he's back to play. Now you... Uh, I know exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna to put Hunwick on all these lines, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to exit this, simulate one more day, and I'm going to say, Dan Boyle was now available to play in your next game. Uh, but let's see here. 
here. We finally got a big victory there. Rick Nash, thank you. See, Dan Boyle is now available to play, so now I gotta do this all over again. Definitely gonna be nice to get Dan Boyle back. It's gonna strengthen our defensive core where they do not have the veteran there. Uh, Chris Phillips, he's injured, and he's injured for, I think, till like next month. So, that's good. We got some sort of an advantage now. We got a little bit of a push. Mike Cost is injured, but we don't have to worry about that. We got a little bit of an advantage over these guys. Uh, we'll see if there's any other uh, injuries there. Uh, Koivu... Costa's injured for the next five weeks, so he's done. Thank God we got Boyle back. Thank God. Uh, anyone from Ottawa doesn't really look like it. So we're going into game number four here. Another must win. We, they took two in our barn. We can easily take two in theirs, boys. Come on, let's go. First period. Two nothing. Jesper Fast and Kevin Hayes. There's the third line coming to play. A couple minutes apart. 15 to four were the, were the shots. We do not even deserve to be in this right now. Okay, let's Get some more rubber at Craig Anderson, and uh, I want to play solid defensively, and Henrik Lundqvist will do the rest. Period number two. Three one. Okay, that's not terrible. We're getting still getting outshot crazy, but Brassar gets a he's had a couple of huge ones here, and Chris Neal. Our their depth has been crazy. Like they have not had a goal from Kyle Turris yet or Bobby Ryan, any one of those first line guys. Hopefully I just didn't jinx myself calling greening. That's that depth again, man. Holy crap come on guys hold it down Henrik Lundqvist oh my god stops 36 pucks jeez we're so lucky to have a goalie like Henrik Lundqvist man oh my god Okay, so Broussard gets his third. Ah, uh, there you go. Thank you very much. broussard has been clutch. broussard has been great. Now we got a series here. We got a tie series going back home here to MSG. Uh, let's do a quick scout here. Uh, let's actually check the final uh, the final things for Connor McDavid and for Jack Eichel. I made them. I made Eichel. Yeah, see, there's exactly what I had planned. McDavid's going to be a little bit better than Jack Eichel. That is exactly what I had planned. We're going to up that even though we don't have a first round pick for this year doesn't really matter I still kind of want to see where they're gonna end up um, any other injuries for them anyone at all uh, Dan Ham he's been injured that sucks for Vancouver but no one else okay so we have another huge game here I uh, we have a chance to pull ahead here where we were once down now we can pull ahead let's go first period three nothing oh my god they come to play leg wands the Benajad and stone Oh boy, three goals on 12 shots. That's all right though. Period number two, four one. This one is over. Bobby Ryan, Cam Talbot started. So hopefully we just pulled Lundquist and we did, and he didn't get injured. Uh, Carl Swaglin gets a big goal there. Um, but I can't see us coming back from this one. Oh wait, Derek Stepan makes it four two. Okay, Stepan makes it four two. We got a little bit of life. Sh Shorthanded Kevin Hayes makes it four three. Okay, okay, Kevin Hayes, you're a monster. 6-5 of Pure Beast. We got a game here, boys. We got a game. Come on. There you go, Dirk Stavon. You're a monster. You are a beast. Look at this. What a game. Oh, my God. Broussard. Holy shit. Oh, shit, Hoffman. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Stone, you bastard. Oh, my God. A minute apart. Oh, that was one of the craziest third periods. We have four unanswered ones. A shorthanded one from Kevin Hayes. And then Hoffman and Stone ruin the part. Party. Oh man, 11 goals scored total. Oh, that was a that was a crazy game. Holy crap! Okay, Ryan had three points. I woke the beast. I woke the beast. That is Bobby Ryan. We uh we have to win this game. If we don't win, we're clearly done. That's there's no two ways about it. We're down three two after a ridiculous game there uh, at home in MSG. The fans they need another strong performance. I need to see McDonough start scoring. I need to see some goals from our defense here. Uh, any other injuries for them? Just want to check. Okay, so. Come on, guys. You know exactly what to do. Broussard's been playing great. Nash, I'd love to see you get at least one this game. Get your name on the score, on the score sheet at least. Come on. Let's go. First period. You know what? We're going We're going times four. No, we're going times six the whole game. Derek Broussard, you've been so good. You've been so good. Oh, my God. Yes, for fast. There you go. Two nothing. We are. We want to go to game seven. We want to go back home to MSG. Okay, Zach Smith with one second left. Really? Really? Zach Smith, come on. Uh, 16 to 12 of the shots. Mark Stone, come on, man. Come on, come on. Their depth is ridiculous. Like, the majority of their goals, I mean, 
Aside from like one goal from Bobby Ryan, Chris Kreider, thank you. A minute and a half in there on the backhand. What a monster. Oh, come on, Kreider. Hold it down. You, we got this. We got this, Lundqvist. You know we got this. Got an empty netter. We don't even need it. 3-2. Henrik Lundqvist makes 27 stops. Whew, oh, my God. That was uh, that was a nail-biter there. Rick Nash actually did get his name on the score sheet. Had the one helper there. But uh, Broussard with his fifth goal. Broussard is just playing amazing right now thank god thank god for brassard man holy game number seven game seven game seven it doesn't get any more unreal than this it doesn't get any more clutch than this people dream of playing games like this people dream of it oh clark MacArthur starts it off a minute on the first shot come on come on guys come right back here let's get one quick let's get one real quick uh there you go thomas kopecky that's why we that's why we got you man and carl Haglin. oh thank you okay goals are coming fast and furious here we scored that one like 30 seconds apart. I only, have, I only have two shots. I only have two shots. Three shots now. But, uh, okay, there you go, Rick Nash. You, thank you. Okay, so basically the game plan is shoot from the right side. We scored three goals from basically the right face-off dot there. Uh, I think we found a weak spot here with Craig Anderson. 18 to uh, eighteen to 6 are the shots. We're just shutting them down. That is exactly how you bounce back from them, from them scoring on their first shot. Uh, 10 shots, 25 to 10. We got this in the bag. Derek Stepan. On. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, you know, Rick Nash did score. He got the one goal. And when it does count, he got it. When it does count, game seven. Save the scoring for now, I guess. But we're going to round number two. Oh, wait a minute. I may have just jinxed this. Uh, Chris Neal gets one. But uh, barring a miracle uh, and barring, I mean, Henrik Lundqvist going blind for the last four minutes, we should have this one in the bag. 37-20. Absolutely all over them and that my friends is a game seven Whew. Holy, that was uh, that was stressful. It was stressful. I, th I mean, I thought we were gonna be done after like the second game. I was like, shit, we're down to nothing. This team is gritty. They're grindy, but we grinded. We grinded our way back. Derek Brassard held the team on his back. Uh, ooh, we got the New York Islanders coming up next. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Oh boy, okay. So, uh, wow, Pittsburgh actually got eliminated by the by the Islanders. So they, I mean, they uh, they had some tough opponents, uh, and they have Johnny T leading the way in goal. Actually tied with Brassard, but still leading the way pretty much. And Zach Smith led in points. He has nine points. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty hilarious. But we have the New York Islanders coming up next. Let's have a look at their roster. I'm keeping ours the the way it is. Having Nash on the the second line kind of just works uh, so that's that actually works out great and uh, honestly I think Zuccarello has to be gone uh, by the start of next year but we can worry about that when that time comes let's go one over aside from one over this way we've got to go one over left and we got the New York Islanders so they have a weird first line and a weird third line uh, from what I'm looking at it here Kuhlman, Tavares, Grabner that's strange I would probably have Okpozo playing with Tavares I made Okpozo in 89 um but, I mean, whatever works. I mean, you got rid of the Pittsburgh Penguins, so who am I to judge? They have Tyler Kennedy, Franz Nielsen, and Okpozo, Clutterbuck, Nelson, Strom, Bailey, uh, Grabowski, and Casey Sezikas. So they're very deep down the middle. Brock Nelson, I gave him a bit of an upgrade. He's a beast. Um... Ryan Strom as well. Uh, so yeah, they're a very, very well-rounded team. They have uh, four lines that can score. I've, I know Grabowski can snipe. I know Strom can snipe. And they got a tough play of, Cl of Clutterbuck. They got a very interesting team. Defensively, Letty and Boychuk. Those are kind of one player. Those are kind of two players that I wish I would have upgraded, but I uh, just kind of slept over them, I guess. But uh, Calvin DeHaan, Thomas Hickey, Devon Donovan, and Straight. So offensively, they're great defensively is lacking hard and in the net they have Yaroslav Halak and Michael Neuwirth so let's have a look at their injury report maybe they're missing a defenseman off the top of my head I can't think of anyone but uh, let's have a quick look here at the injury report for the New York Islanders um, New York Islanders oh yeah so they are missing two yeah of course uh, Travis Hamanick uh, and they also have Lubomir Vishnoski with an MCL sprain so he's out till May he may be back but I'm not too sure 
sure about uh, about Travis Hamannick. So it's actually a pretty cool series. Act the travel time is basically nothing. So there's going to be lots of fresh legs out there. I think it's like an hour or like uh, or it's like an hour or less from Long Island to New York. So it's going to be a really cool series here. Huge rivalry: New York Islanders versus the New York Rangers. We're in the Big Apple here. Let's go for a period. One nothing. Dominic Moore, the fourth liner, out of boy. Period number two. Three nothing. Zuccarello and Derek Stepan. There you go, Zuccarello. Thank you for showing up. Finally, took you a while, but he finally gets his first goal. I think that's his first goal, anyways. And Henrik Lundqvist is doing the rest so far. He has 24 stops. Yes, for fast, gets a huge goal. And looks like we're gonna have this one. Four nothing. Stopping 26 pucks. Henrik Lundqvist. They uh, voted the NHL's best looking player and for good reason look at those eyes what a beautiful human being and uh, we get uh, oh JT Miller's been injured uh, till May 5th so he's out for at least two games there's a fourth liner we have to we have to call up uh who can we call up? Oscar Lindbergh, baby. There he is. I got to send Costa down, actually. Oh, he's injured. Never mind. I actually can't. But uh, Oscar Lindbergh, he played uh, quite a bit this year when we had the injury to Kevin Hayes. So I know he is a solid NHLer and uh, he'll probably play next year, to be honest. He has the he has the potential. He's now at 80 overall. Uh, I have no problem playing him right there. And I think he's going to be on a couple of uh, PK lines as well. Maybe not. Maybe he's going to get the fourth line minutes. Yeah, I don't think he's getting any other minutes. Okay, scratch that. Forget what I just said. He's just going to get the fourth line minutes. Maybe under 10 minutes per night, but that's fine. That's all we really need him for. JT Miller, uh, hopefully he can progress come uh, come a couple of years. But as of right now, we're focusing right now. Game number two, MSG. We have the shutout intact from last game. Let's keep it going, guys. First period. One nothing. Grabowski gets the one there. Fourth liner. I told you guys he could snipe. Period number two. Three to one. Rick Nash, Kopecky, and Brassard. Broussard's been excellent, and Rick Nash actually scoring a couple goals. 55 seconds left. Gets a slap shot from the top of the faceoff dot, and that is money, making it 3-1. We only have eight. We only, actually, we only have 12 shots, but we have three goals, so we're ganging up on Halak here, where Henrik Lundqvist is just stopping everything, making 29, 30, 31 saves right now, and uh, I mean, 33 stops for Henrik Lundqvist. I mean, where would we be without Henrik Lundqvist? We would be nothing. We would be a guard team right now. Brassard scores his sixth, Kopecky gets his second, and Rick Nash scores his third. I'm still not entirely sold on Rick Nash, but uh, you know what? He's getting the odd goal here and there. I'm fine with that. Let's go all the way to Long Island here. A very short drive. We don't have to fly. You just can take the bus. Let's go. First period. 1-1, one, one, Cal Clutterbuck and Rick Nash. boy, Nash. There you go. Period number two. 2-1, two, Grabner, the first liner. We're just just getting outshot like crazy. Poor Henrik Lundqvist, man. We've not had a shot this whole period. Five minutes in, no shot. Still have 12 shots. There you go. Finally get a couple. Uh, we got to get more rubber at Halak. Come on. I mean, we have the we have the uh, we have the confidence to have Henrik Lundqvist in there, so we can allow a couple shots. But John Tavares gets one on the 35th shot. We even reach 20. Okay, we did it. We get 21, but that's not acceptable, guys. That happened last game, and we got lucky. We're not going to get lucky every single game against these guys. Come on. You gotta play better than that. I know you had the two games. You thought you could walk all over them. Maybe they sat back a little bit in game number three. But that is not acceptable. This is Stanley Cup playoffs that we're talking about right now. Stanley Cup playoffs. They're JT Miller's back, so I'm going to go ahead and put Lindbergh down and get Miller back on the team. All right, game number four, guys. Come on, get lots of rubber at Halak here. Throw the puck at Halak. Come on, let's go. First period, 2 nothing. Thank you very much. 15 to 7. Finally, Rick Nash scores another one. The guy's coming alive on the second line, and then Marty St. Louis gets another one. They kind of switch spots and they scored goals, so I'm definitely okay with that one. Second period, 2 
nothing still. There's the shots that I want to see. 26 shots. Thank you, Rick Nash again. What the hell? Where have you been? He's impressing the GM right now. Rick the Dick Nash. a boy. Rick Nash coming to play. And will we get our second shutout of the series? Absolutely. 30 saves. Just another day in the office for the King. Henrik Lundqvist making 30 saves. And Rick Nash, right? Just like that. Has five goals. One behind Derek Broussard for the team lead. We can go to round number three right now. This this whole series just flew by. Let's go. First period. one nothing. Nick Letty on the power play. Okay. Get more shots, guys. Get more shots to the net. Period number two. one nothing still. Okay. We actually got a bit more rubber there, which is okay. We got some more rubber on the net. Come on. 15 minutes left. Ryan Strom on the power play. Come on, guys. Let's get one here. Come on. Come on. We need one. You won big. Rick Nash, I've been, I've been kind of hankering on you, but I need a big goal here, buddy. Need a massive goal. Doesn't look like it. Halak is a playoff goalie, and he showed it right here, making 27 stops for the 2 nothing shutout. So, now we're up 3-2. So, it could go either way. Game 5... Game six is going to be very, very interesting. They have, they have two chances here to spoil what could be a uh, third round appearance here. Come on, let's go, guys. You know exactly what to do. You've beat this guy. You beat Halak. You've shut down Tavares for the most part. Let's go. Let's go. Time six the whole time. Let the simulation do its work. Come on. Thomas Kopecky, baby, fourth liner. Huge clutch deadline acquisition. And Rick Nash again. What the hell? Rick Nash. Okay, Tyler Kennedy, the second liner which is really weird because he's not a second liner, but we're going to go with it. Uh, Tyler Kennedy gets one. Uh, 15 to 13 are shots. Pretty even. As of right now, Rick Nash has the GWG. Well, I shouldn't have said that. John Tavares. <laughs> All right, Nash, get another one. Okay, Chris Kreider. All right now, Chris Kreider has the GWG. Come on, I can smell the third round right around the corner. Come on, guys. Come on. Four, three. Oh, Josh Bailey. I just got to stop jinxing myself. Oh, my God, Tavares. Really? Really, Tavares? You're just gonna do that? You're just gonna go ahead and do something like that? Fuck sakes, Tavares. Oh boy, back to back game sevens. Holy. Holy shit, I was not expecting, I was not expecting that. Tavares scores two there, and uh, with, his, with his eighth goal of the year, he forces game seven. Carl Hagelin has been injured with an injured arm May 14th, so he's done for at least this series and maybe the first game of round three. If we even get there, Lindbergh, we're in your calling your ass up once and once again uh you're not gonna get the second line minute zuccarello is gonna get there but i will go ahead and put jt miller right there and i gotta replace all the lines that uh he was on okay so that kind of sucks carl Hagelin was a pretty big loss for us here but game seven guys come on we were so confident so confident that we were gonna that we we're gonna go ahead there in game five but game six didn't quite go our way hopefully game seven will be with the blue shirts here time six the whole time let's go controller down oh boy i am legitly nervous for this i am legitly nervous right now five minutes left in the first 13 to eight we just slow it down it's going way too fast times four let's just let's gather ourselves here 30 seconds at a time oh nikolai kuleman beats henrik lundquist come on guys let's, let's answer right back let's answer right back here uh oh god i don't want to go down to nothing here this could be really dangerous come on guys come on get one before the second period ends at least. Thomas Kopecky, thank you. What a clutch deadline acquisition. Told you guys he would be good. Shows up in the playoffs. On the, on the fourth line, might I add. The fourth line. There you go. Coming over from Florida. Loving playing in New York right now. Come on, guys. Come on. I don't even know here. This is so stressful. 25-27. This is going to be one. Oh, Rick Nash! Rick Nash! Rick Nash! Rick freaking Nash! Are you kidding me? Rick Nash! Oh, fucking John Tavares, you bastard, you bastard. Oh, God, I am not happy right now. Okay, okay, let's slow it down. We got uh, OT here, uh, Game 7. This is what people dream of. Next goal, you're going to the Eastern Conference Finals. I can't even stand watching this right now. 29-31, Ryan Strom. Fuck Ryan Strom. Fuck.
Oh, that is just heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. They come back down 3-1, and they put us away in seven games. Ugh, frickin' Ryan Strom. That's all right, though. You know what? That was a hard-fought series. Could have went either way. A lot of surprises and some disappointments, but we have a huge offseason coming up here. Ah, oh, that sucks. Ah, uh, here comes our owner. Says, I'm happy with the year. I feel your performance during the season and the playoffs has helped raise the profile of the New York Rangers. I wanted you to hear it firsthand from me. Good job. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, but uh, I thought, man, I just... Uh, that sucks. That really sucks to get uh, one goal away from the Eastern Conference Finals here. Good luck to the Islanders. I hope they hope they beat the Leafs. I guess they're playing the Leafs. Hope they kick them out. It's like Winnipeg and uh, the Blues are in the Western Conference Final. How funny would that be if Winnipeg wins the Cup in year number one? Ah, uh, that'd be hilarious. But St. Louis and Winnipeg. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See what's gonna happen. Uh, hopefully, okay, so it's the Blues and the Leafs, so both of the teams that I wanted to advance got knocked out, so let's go Blues, let's go Blues. <laughs> How did Toronto make it? Year one, Toronto made it, are you serious? Uh, hopefully, the Blues can come up here and uh, have a big series win, scout assignment, we don't have a first round pick this year, but we could potentially have one if we do decide to deal uh, Rick Nash or to deal Marty St. Louis or to deal something like that uh, but we'll deal with that but we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there um, that's uh, I don't really know I kind of want to let Marty St. Louis retire I really hope he does retire to be honest with you and Toronto wins the Stanley Cup in year number one wow I was not really expecting that but uh, wow okay Toronto Jonathan Bernier James Reimer had a nice one-two punch there and Phil Kessel and Dion get their Stanley Cup that's very surprising what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the retirements and we're going to sim all the way up to the draft. We'll do an awards thing. We'll do a playoff thing. We'll do all of that good stuff. So before I even look here, I do hope that Marty calls it quits. Uh, but let's have a quick look here. So Chara retired. Just some huge names there. Iggy, Briere, Datsuk, Zidlicki, Yager finally retired. 1,800 points. My God. Uh, ooh, looks like it did happen. Marty saying that we did call it quits. So that's going to that's gonna clear up a lot lot of cap space for us which is huge which is really really big so uh yeah marty marty i'm sorry i couldn't get you another stanley cup but uh thank you for what you did in the two and a half years you were here with new york rangers i appreciate it man uh and best of luck to you in your retirement uh no goalies retired but uh there we go so Let's have a look here at uh, our trading block really quickly, edit trading block, just to see if anyone uh, got a little bit higher during the offseason or anything. Quickly see here if anyone got a bit of an upgrade. Uh, Dan Boyle in 84. He actually went up one, so we could probably look to deal Dan Boyle. It's going to be hard with that contract, but uh, yes, for fast. Dan Girardi went down. Why the hell did Girardi go down? Um, Tanner Glass. Carl Hagelin went, went down. He's now an 84 as opposed to an 85. Uh, Kevin Hayes still stayed at 83. I know the huge jump comes at the offseason, but it's nice to check right now. Um, Kopecky stayed the same. Chris Kreider stayed the exact same. Lindbergh went up to 81. Lundqvist now on 94. Was he always a 94? Maybe not, but 94 overall for the King, Henrik Lundqvist. McDonough still stayed at 89. JT Miller's at 81. Uh, Rick Nash still a 90. We probably put Rick Nash on the block. I want to hear what you guys want to say about Rick Nash um, before I make a, you know, a trade or anything like that, but I want to know what you guys think. Now with Marty St. Louis gone, what can we do here? Um... Let's quickly have a look here. We'll do the whole awards thing, and we'll look at the prospects and all that stuff. So Toronto Maple Leafs, Stanley Cup champions, President's Trophy, the New York Rangers, Clarence went to St. Louis, Prince of Wales there, Claude Giroux won the Art Ross, the heart, of course, went to Henrik Lundqvist, James Norris went to Dougie Hamilton, wow, Patty Kane won the Lady Bing, uh, Kuznetsov, I called that, won the Calder, Con Smythe went to Jonathan Bernier, the Vesna, there it is, called that one again for the third time, I believe, 
achieve in his career. I might be wrong about that, but uh, Henry Clunk was also one that William M. Jennings took home some hardware. Uh, Frank J. Selke went to Datsuk. Ted Lindsay, wow. That's a really big accomplishment for a goalie to win the Ted Lindsay. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, Rocket Richard for the third year in a row went to Alexander Skorvechkin. Alexander Ovechkin. Uh, player stats for the playoffs. Quickly have a look at that. Honestly, Rick Nash actually played pretty good throughout. Um, he was our leading scorer. 12 points in 14 games. I can't harp on that. I mean, we're paying him a ridiculous amount, but uh, he got the job done when it counts. When I needed him most, he did step up, so uh, gotta give props to Rick Nash there. And then it was Yandel, McDonough didn't have a goal, but he had 10 helpers. Zuccarello actually played very well. 10 points, uh, only the one goal. Derek Broussard had so many clutch goals for us. Uh, Stepan played pretty good. Hayes played pretty good as well. Uh, Kreider played not too shabby. Kopecky had the big four goals for us there. Miller, Jesper Fast, all that good stuff. Rookie goalies doesn't really matter. Rookie skaters, but uh, Henrik Lundqvist, he didn't play you know, uh, he played good enough to win, but our team just could not get him the goal support that he needed, and we dropped a couple of games there that we probably should have won. Uh, rookie skaters in the playoffs doesn't really matter. I want to check all skaters for the playoffs. JVR, Kessel, and Kadri. Oh my God, Lupul as well. The top four scores all from Toronto. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty unreal. There, twenty points. 20 or more points for all of them. That's pretty impressive to say the least. So a couple more things here that I want to check before we end off this. Um, what, I don't know. I wouldn't call it a disappointing year at all for the playoffs because I feel like we uh, I feel like we got done what I wanted to get done. We had a successful year, and then the playoffs could have went either way. We had one game, we had one goal away from the Eastern Conference Final, so it's not really you know it's not really a terrible year by any stretch of the imagination. But Noah Noah Hannafin, 76 overall there. Uh, where is McDavid and where is McDavid's an 80, and uh, I assume that uh, Strom's going to be uh, right there. There and Eichel 78. He had two points. So obviously, I made Eichel a little bit worse than uh, Connor McDavid, but Strom there made a little bit more improved. Matthew. Barzil stay the same, and uh, it's all for their goaltenders, lots and whistles. So uh, actually, Jackson Whistle looks really good, and then uh, a couple of uh, four really good goalies here heading into the draft. But what do we do here? I need your guys' help in a huge way. Uh, I do want to look at the upcoming free agents just to see. Obviously, I know a lot of players are going to get re-signed, but here are potentially some players that we could go after. Uh, no one that I, no one really catches my. Uh, uh, my, my eye here. Uh, I mean, Justin Williams is older, but uh, he's still a sniper. You know, he's got the playoff experience with L.A. He wouldn't be too bad, but he may want an arm and a leg. Uh, goalies, obviously, we're not going to get a goalie. I... Uh, um so yeah, I don't really know what we're going to do in the offseason, but we have a big hole to fill now. Marty is gone. Marty St. Louis is toast. He retired after this year. Do we move Dan Boyle? Uh, what do we do here? We'll go to our contract situation, have a look at who we have to re-sign for this year. And uh, I mean, Zuccarello could, is easily replaceable. We could we could get rid of him. So I'm just having a look here at who we have to re-sign. We actually have almost $18 million in cap, which is nice. We have to re-sign Jesper Fast and Lim. I'm okay with that. Uh, Kevin Hayes is still good. Christo, we have to re-sign. Uh, no really huge re-signs here. Uh, Carl Hagelin, we got to re-sign. Stepan, okay, there is a couple. Stepan, we got to re-sign, and that's it. I think Henrik Lundqvist is going to be good for uh, a little while anyways. Uh, I know he's locked up for uh, quite some time at $7.7 .7 million until, holy shit, until forever pretty much, until, um, until uh, 2021. So, we have lots of uh, thinking to do. We have lots of moves to make. We are going to be a different looking team come next year. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the offseason.